The public beta is now released for iOS 18.4 beta 2 and we have it installed on our device. And in this video, we're not only going to cover the new features that got added, also the missed features that we missed on our previous video, but going over additional information on when we should receive the official version of iOS 18.4 because we were expecting this beta to be released next week, sometime next week, but it actually got released today where previously the developer beta was updated to beta 2. So this means the official version should be coming out a lot sooner than we anticipated. But with that said, let's begin. And of course, timestamps will be in the description down below for your pleasure. Let's get started with the first feature. Which the first new change can be located for the dynamic island. You see if we start like a voice memo recording. And then we start a recording log. And we exit out of here. Notice how the orange microphone icon privacy dot moves all the way to the far right. Before it used to be awkwardly placed to the very far right. Now it actually has its own unique animation. So when it comes to making phone calls and such, the animation will automatically move it to the side and it's much smoother as well. And then if you use the wallet app for like your cards or Apple Pay, or if you have an Apple credit card as an example, if you launch the wallet app, if you tap on the top right with these dots, we now have a subscription and payment category, which will monitor all your subscriptions that you're subscribed to. And you can revoke it right here instead of actually going to the website and canceling the subscription. So now it actually keeps track of that all from your iPhone's wallet app. And if you look closely, this is where you'll find your orders as well as your additional settings now for your wallet if you like to rearrange certain things or, or change certain functions like the live activity. And now I did launch the photo app because now if you go all the way to the very bottom, you know, on your recently deleted album section, by unlocking your device, we now have a new section all the way down here. It says recover all in case you like to recover your entire photo library instead of individually tapping on them. Now, additionally, we also got new emojis as here they are right here on your display. So we got a new splash purple goo thing, a tired face, a shovel, a stick or a tree, a fingerprint, a harp, and beats. Now if we type in something like splash, here is that new purple splash one I was showing you earlier. So we finally do have the new emojis. In addition to that, if you have like an older iPhone, like an iPhone 15 that we have right here, there we go. Now you can tell it's a 15. Vision intelligence is now available. If we lock our device, unlock it, and we go into our settings, and then, yeah, I was already looking at it earlier. If we, in the setting page, if you go down to the action button tab, here we now have, again, visual intelligence. And by selecting this, now we finally have the freedom to use the action button to immediately launch Apple Vision, or Vision Intelligence, I should say, which on newer iPhones is typically powered by this little side button that grants us access to that new vision intelligent feature from series with Apple intelligence. And this basically just scans products and tells you exactly like what it is in the example. So if I scan this to give you a real world demo, how this works and tap search, it's going to use Google reverse search imaging and then try to select the case that I just took a picture of which needs improvement because all this is wrong, but it could also be my fault. I just took a bad angle, but if it's something obvious, oh, there's the actual case right there. But if it's something obvious, like a translation, like translating this language on a sign, it will immediately do it without any issues. But when it comes to odd products, like weird shaped things, it could give you mixed results. iPhone 15 can now utilize Apple vision intelligence. Additionally, if you launch Control Center and you go in your Customization tab, you also have the ability to add Vision Intelligence onto this as well. As you can see, you can now add it as a shortcut instead of using the Action button on the side if you don't want to do that. So Apple did give us the option if we want to use our Action button for something else and you can also increase the size to the Apple Intelligence Vision shortcut as well. Now if you have the Apple Vision, there is now an Apple Vision Pro app that you could launch on your iPhone. I returned mine so I don't have access to this app. I didn't want to keep that overpriced VR headset personally, but I do plan on buying it again when the price is right. But four grand for that was not worth it for me, but I do not have the Apple Vision app, which is now its own dedicated one. That will be automatically added if you have it paired to your Apple account. Additionally, by launching the photo app, Apple will now pop up with a new window over here. When you first launch the photo app after updating, I noticed this new splash screen will pop up showing you like exact specifications you could request for if you're trying to narrow it down. Like they have an example, a black and white cat or a sunny beach. And then when it comes to Apple intelligence notification features, Apple did give us a new toggle we can now toggle between. 
on the main page on your iPhone, you know, in your settings app, if you scroll down to the notifications, in the prioritized notification, Apple gave us an additional toggle right here. As now you can now enable individual apps if you'd like to utilize this prioritized notification. Before it was just fixed to prioritize notifications. Now you could go down and actually select a certain apps you wanted to have this ability and the ones you don't. And then when it comes to updating your apps, if we go into our app store and we select our profile, and if you scroll down, you know, you have the ability to manually update your apps. Now we are given access to pause our updates, kind of like what we were able to do back then. I guess Apple re-added this feature where you can just tap pause or resume. All personal preference, just something interesting and I want to highlight that Apple re-added. But in terms of performance numbers, I did do a Geekbench for both the CPU and the GPU. Oh, and also the before I updated, so it was a 1.3 gig size update, which wasn't crazy. The previous one was like about seven. But the Geekbench score before I updated was 3,400 and a multi-score 8,500. And I did do the Geekbench score one more time. With the beta update, we do lose a little bit of performance in the single core, but this also could be caused because the phone was kind of hot before I started it. After the update, it was kind of warm, so that might have altered the performance because even on the multi-score, it's kind of down by 100 as well, which keep in mind, 100 doesn't really do anything in terms of performance. So this was likely just caused by the heat that it generated. And then when it comes to GPU score, our GPU score did score uh, 32,000. And now if I go ahead and back into Geekbench and we do a Geekbench uh, score right now with our GPU, here it is, run GPU and then wait like four minutes. So it looks like also on the GPU test, we got lower numbers as well. So 32,000, oh, never mind. No, we did get slightly higher numbers. Again, no performance loss, really noticeable performance loss or increase. Everything is just about 100. And then temperature wise, we did reach temperature, it looks like around 87 Fahrenheit, which is ideal to the previous test result too. So there's no thermal issues, problems with this new update. So this one's safe to say that it's safe to download for beta 2 for iOS 18.4. In terms of any animation bugs or issues, everything's been pretty good to the most part. Animations is smooth, especially with the volume slider transitioning from blue to white now, where previously it was kind of like glitchy and stuttering. Uh, this one's been pretty fine to the most part at least on my 16 pro and there you guys have it those were the new features that are coming out pretty soon on ios 18.4 currently it's available for the developer beta as well as the public beta for beta 2 updates let me know which one of these features was your personal favorite my personal favorite was the new organization on the wallet app for subscription managing because now it doesn't seem like it's just exclusive to the apple credit card Seems to be available on everything you use on the Apple Wallet app, which I think it's much better and easier to keep track of instead of having to pay like a third party app subscription just to monitor your subscription services, you know. I believe Rocket Money is the name of that one. Anywho, I'm just getting sidetracked. But for more, subscribe. And if you'd like to watch more, there's that video over there that the YouTube algorithm is recommending. Thank you so much for watching.